colourful and today I'm going to be showing you how to create wounds using liquid latex and tissue paper. So before we actually start with the tutorial I'm going to show you what you will need. You will first need some liquid latex. You can buy liquid latex online, you can also buy it from makeup shops and you can also buy it from eBay and Amazon. Not only is liquid latex used for creating wounds, it's also used as an adhesive so you can stick anything to anywhere that you like, on your face, on your arms, on your legs, wherever you fancy. So it's really, really good. So you can use it as an adhesive and you can also use it for making wounds. Not only that, but you can smooth out the edges of your wounds too with it. If you are allergic to latex, I really do not suggest putting this anywhere near you. I won't touch it, put it to your skin because it really will irritate your skin. So the first thing you'll need is liquid latex. The next thing you'll need is some tissues. And these are the ones from Boots, just standard tissues. I really do suggest getting cheap tissue paper because you want the paper to be thin. What we're going to do with this paper is actually split it so it's into single sheets. So we're going to split this so it's a lot thinner than it actually is. The next thing you'll need is obviously a flat surface. I'm just using a lid off of Tupperware just because I want to try and make this as easy and user friendly, I guess, as possible. I want to use things that people are going to come and leave in the home because I've got a metal mixing palette. Don't really want to use that because not many people do. So I'm going to show you an alternative and I've decided to use a Tupperware. If you have a metal mixing palette, then go ahead and use that. But if you haven't, a Tupperware lid will be fine, the lid off of butter or margarine will be fine, providing that you obviously um, wash it and sanitise it. Basically anything that is, has a flat surface, like a CD case, DVD case, things like that, things that you would never think of you can actually use, just as long as it's got a flat surface. The next thing you'll need is powder, and also a powder brush. Now the reason for this is latex is not porous, so once you put it on your face and then apply a makeup on top, you're going to find it really, really hard, because obviously it will not... It just won't stick to it. So before you actually do that, you need to set your wounds with powder. So I'm using a real techniques. I think this is a contour brush, and also my Mac um, Prep and Prime finishing powder. You can use any powder that you like. You can use a cheap powder. You can use talcum powder. Whatever you have in your home, just use whatever you can find. So the last thing we need is something to apply the liquid latex to the lid. Now I'm using the disposables and these are the lip gloss ones. We're not going to use makeup brushes because liquid latex will kill makeup brushes. Once liquid latex gets on a makeup brush you cannot use it again for applying nice normal makeup because the liquid latex sticks to the bristles and it doesn't come off so you really really do not want to be using your nice makeup brushes for doing this. You really really need to either use all paint brushes um, disposables like I'm using are a really cheap option at cotton wool buds. So now I've showed you what you actually need to create the wounds, we're now going to begin with the tutorial. Now the first thing you want to do is grab your disposal and your liquid latex and you want to dip the disposable in the liquid latex or your cotton bud or whatever you're using. Now we're going to go for a simple, um, I'd, I'd say like a slash wound. So what you want to do, you want to kind of like map out with the liquid latex and your applicator like how big you want it to be. Now I think we're going to go for a fairly open gash. So we're going to apply a thin layer to the, to the lid into the shape that you want. Now we've got the shape, as you can see there. We now want to actually create the wound and for this I'm going to grab one of my tissues and we're just going to separate it. Now we've got a really, really thin layer of tissue. Now you just want to start ripping like one side of the tissue and then you want to just roll it. You want to start rolling the tissue, a bit like a sausage shape I'd say. Because this will form our wound. So we're just rolling it now. So now we've got something that looks a little bit like this. Now what we want to do, we want to see if that's actually going to be too big and by looking at that it's going to be huge. So we just literally want to take off a little bit. So now we've took off and then we're going to see if it need, needs to be any bigger or any smaller. And looking at that we just need to take a tiny little bit more off and then again just roll the end so it doesn't come loose. And now we have our shape. Now you literally just want to place that onto the wound. Don't put it right in the centre because you're going to have a massive gap over the edge. And the problem when you have a massive gap over the edge is when you apply makeup to it, it's going to look a little bit naff. So you want to leave as little of an edge as possible. So now with the disposable, you just need to pat that down 
into the liquid latex like so. If you haven't got liquid latex you can also use eyelash glue. I know it sounds very strange but you can do. You might use a lot of it though, that's the only problem. So that's one edge of our wound done. We're now going to take some more tissue and then again, like we did before, just roll the tissue and obviously once the right size again you just pop it on the other side. Like I said this is just a normal big gash and using the disposable again just pop it in place because obviously liquid latex once it starts drying it's going to be really sticky so you'll find it easier to actually place the wound on it. So that's the basis of our wound. Now we can't just leave it there, we can't leave it there at all because it isn't going to stick well and you need a bit more texture to it. So we're going to get some more tissue. Now this time we're going to break off tiny, tiny little pieces. You can always use big pieces but I like doing it in small bits just because you're a little bit more careful. Like this is a tiny bit so you want to pop, pop that over the edges and also in the centre of the wound. And then using your applicator and your liquid latex, dip it in again and then just pop some more latex on that piece of tissue. It will start moving but you just literally pat onto one of the sides of the tissue and it will stay in place. And then you just want to cover that piece of tissue in liquid latex. Like so. And then you would repeat that step for the whole of the wound. So now I'm just going to carry on covering that wound until it's all covered. Now once you've covered the wound with all the tissue, you just want to use the end of the disposable or cotton wool bud, whatever you're using, and just make sure that that, e that line around the edge is even. You don't want the line to be huge, but you want it to just be big enough because you obviously need something that you can apply latex to afterwards in order to stick it to your skin. You just need some kind of flap, should so to speak in order for you to actually stick the wound to your face or your leg or wherever you're putting it. So there is the wound created. As you can see we've got the initial outline of the wound and we've also got that little flap around the edges. Obviously you can make that bigger, you can make it smaller, you can put three in a row to create claw marks, you can do anything really. So now I'm going to show you the wounds I made before. Now these are all bullet wounds but they are different bullet wounds. This one is a deep bullet wound. To create a deep bullet wound, you would roll the tissue like we did before into a sausage shape, but this time the sausage needs to be really, really, really thick and fat in order to create a deep bullet wound. The middle bullet wound is a tiny bullet wound. Now this is neither deep or shallow, this is kind of in between. This is probably used by a smaller gun, uh, maybe like BB gun or something like that. You can also uh, make this even smaller or you could even leave it as it is and it could be like a big juicy pimple. What you could do, you could fill that with some yellow pus and you've got yourself a really, really nice juicy spot. So you can use the smaller ones for anything. Or you could do like vampire bites, snake bites. Um, the list is really endless. This one is a shallow gunshot wound. And these are all exit wounds. By exit, it means that when it fires, it's probably being fired from the back of you so that your skin goes outwards. So those are exit wounds. Now this wound is an entry wound. And this is when you've been shot from the front. It looks kind of like in the centre it's kind of gone in. So it's like concave. So an exit wound goes outwards. An entry wound goes inwards. So now I've showed you the wounds. I'm now going to tell you about like how obviously to get it off the lid and drying time etc. Now this is still very wet. And I would say that you need to leave it for about an hour. I would suggest leaving it 24 hours just to be safe. You can also use a hairdryer to dry the wound, providing that you obviously have it on a low heat. It will affect the texture of the wound using a hairdryer. It will become a bit more um, shiny and rubbery. But if you need it in a rush, it doesn't necessarily matter. When it is dry though, please do bear in mind it still will be sticky. That's why you need to powder it as well as the obviously with the makeup issue you need to powder it because they still will be quite sticky underneath so using our powder brush 
and our translucent powder. We're just going to apply a tiny bit to the wound. So we're just going to pop, pop our brush in our powder and then we just want to put some on the, on the actual wound. As you can see we're powdered and by using the powder as well it also highlights the edges meaning it's easy to peel off and you have also can see um, where you can apply latex to when you're applying it onto your skin as well so you can just apply it to the outer part of the wound and then apply it onto your skin. Now I'm going to show you how to remove the wound. We just want to peel from the top. You probably find it easier peeling from the top of the wound just because it is pointy. And then you just gently want to lift that wound off. Pounder our big wound. And there you have it. There's the um, wound that we created. Now I'm going to tell you some ideas that you could do to create, to make your wounds a little bit more disgusting. So, the first thing, safety pins. I absolutely love using safety pins on wounds. It looks amazing, it looks awesome, it looks gruesome. It basically, basically just looks really, really gruesome and gory. So what you would simply do is just get your wound, don't do this while, while it's on your face because you might stab yourself in the face. I would suggest doing this whilst your wound is like this because you don't want to, you don't want any accidents happening. The next thing you could do is use a needle and thread and actually saw through your wound. So you could use a needle and thread and sew looking a bit like someone's tried sewing your wound up a bit. So you can use safety pins, you can use sewing equipment, you can use safe, um, not safety pins, I've just showed you them. You can use staples, they look super cool. You can also buy fake bits of glass that you can actually stick into your wounds and that looks amazing. You can literally use anything that would remotely make your, your wound look really disgusting. That is how you make a wound using liquid latex and tissue. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. And if you want to see more, then check out my channel. I'm sure Kyle will link it below. I'm going to be doing lots more special effects things um, in the future, including making your own skin. I know that sounds really gruesome, but it's really, really fun and simple. I do makeup, hair and nail tutorials, hauls, tags, outs of the days, you name it, I do it. So if you want to see more of what I do, then check out my channel. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoy what you see. Bye-bye.